Hi guys, how you all doing? So last night I watched a new film on Netflix called Boiling Point. It's directed by a guy called Philip Barantini, starring Stephen Graham. If you don't know his name, you've definitely seen his face. He was in This Is England, he was in Line of Duty. He's a fantastic British actor. We've got uh, Vinette Robinson, she was in it too. Uh, she starred in Black Mirror. We've got Jason Fleming. Oh, this is going to contain spoilers, by the way. All right. So if you've not seen it, you might want to turn off towards the end. But before you turn off, like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. I thought I'd get that in there. So now we're at a time where most films are like big budget, loads of action where there should be plot car chases, uh, superheroes that you just can't relate to, um, Hollywood, whereas this one's the complete opposite. This is almost like anti-Hollywood. It's British, it's gritty, it's based in realism. Uh, it's done on one long shot, so it almost feels like a documentary. That's a testament to how good the acting is. It feels improvised. I want to know if this film is improvised at parts because I'm very hot. <laughs> Boiling point. I wonder why, I wonder if some of this is improvised because um, in film you don't see people talk over each other. It's like line, line, line. Whereas in this, you know, in real life we talk over each other. That happens in this film and that gives it the realism. So um, the synopsis for this film um, Andy, the head chef, played by Stephen Graham, is having a lot of turmoil in his personal life and this is carrying in. We don't know why it's a bit ambiguous as to why he's having this turmoil and this is spilling into his professional life um the restaurant has gone from having a five star rating to a three star rating so the film starts with him berating some of the chefs like really telling them off for not doing basic things correctly and um that just sets the tone for the evening shift so it's an evening shift at a restaurant. Now, that doesn't sound very good, does it? Let's be honest. But the acting just carries this film fantastically. And it just fills you with anxiety just when things start going wrong. The conflict between um, the front of house and the uh, the cooking staff, that's really good. The conflict there, um, everyone's really stressed out. It's a hot environment and you really get that. There's a lot of subplots as well. So there's a lot of racism within the restaurant and it's not done in a Hollywood way where they need to spoon feed you to tell you that is racist. Um, it's a lot of underlying um, subtle hints at it, which is worse in a way because it's easy to deny and that's it just makes you feel a bit cold and it's just it's done really well. And then there's stuff going on in the kitchen. There's a mother and a son where the son's going through some turmoil and the way he reveals it accidentally is just just makes you cry straight away just the way it's done it's so clever <clears throat> because they're not spoon feeding everything like a lot of hollywood films do they're not spoon feeding everything so as the night progresses things get worse and worse gets more volatile and then it just escalates um this is where the spoilers come in um there's a guy proposing to his fiance uh in there and she's got a peanut allergy but it's not delivered correctly on the system and then she ends up going into an ambulance and there's there's a lot of conflict there it's just amazing it's just a really good film and this is where the spoiler is going to come in i had no idea that this film was about addiction until the last 10 minutes where they reveal it so cleverly um stephen graham's personal life is falling apart because of addiction but we don't know that and because he's such a good chef, but he's just struggling with his admin a little bit, you just think, oh, he's just having troubles with his wife. It's not that bad. And then you see him down in a bottle of vodka 10 minutes before the end, and he's snorting pills, and he's just in a state of flux in his office, not knowing what to do after having this um, woman go to hospital. It just hits home so hard in a subtle way that... This is a film about addiction and it's so sad. You see him drinking out of a bottle all the way through. And towards the end, I was thinking, I wonder why that bottle's not see-through. And I was just like, oh, maybe um, maybe it's like a kitchen regulation. And then I was like, oh my God, he's an alcoholic. And it just really hits home. I love how there isn't a Hollywood ending because life isn't like that. 
why do Hollywood endings always have to be really uplifting and great? So the film ends where he has his vodka and then he's leaving the office and he just he just hits the deck and then it fades to black and then you hear the very concerned staff ringing the ambulance and stuff. And it just left me really thinking about the film for like 10, 15 minutes afterwards, just thinking I can't believe how well they've managed to portray that story about addiction without um, telling us in such an obvious way it is about addiction. So for that reason, I'm going to give this film an 8.5 out of 10 because the acting's just phenomenal. As I said earlier, Vinette Robinson really stole the show and then Stephen Graham got it back at the end in the last 10 minutes when he was just in this room on his own, really struggling with his addiction. Um, I'm not sure if it's a film I'd watch over and over again. That's why I only gave it 8.5 out of 10. Tens I'd watch again and again and again. But this one made me think. And yeah, it just it's a great advert for British, British cinema, uh, cinema, cinema. It's a great advert for British cinema. It's a great advert for British acting. And it's a great advert for films not having to end on a high all the time. Which I think is becoming more and more rare. So 8 out of 5. 8 out of 5. It's too hot. <laughs> 8.5 out of 10 so thank you very much for listening to my review like share and subscribe for more of this sort of content i do football i do books i do yeah all sorts so thank you very much if you made it this far have a lovely weekend and catch you later bye